Well, I was, I was playing around with this oscilloscope, and I was curious about one thing about the spooky generator when it uh, uses this arbitrary wave function. You can see it right down there. Now, this is a normal function right now. If you're looking at the wave, it shows a sine wave. And lo and behold, you look at the scope, it's a sine wave. And you change this. It's got a nice graphic representation. You can see it changes to a square wave up there. It's a square wave on the scope, of course. <laughs> and But what I was interested in determining, you see, now this is a normal function. The normal function, now you got the triangle wave. You can see that. You got the triangle wave on a scope. But what I was wondering was, what waves are being made by this? Let's see if I can get it on there. It's the arbitrary function. The arbitrary function. The arbitrary function. See right here. And you see it makes that squiggly noise, that squiggly um, representation up here. And you're like, what the heck is that? So I look at the scope, and there it is. Now you can use this knob here to adjust the wherever it is, but I want to use this like as a zapper sometimes, just taking a generator and not, you know, dragging out the computer and using a generator in contact mode. So I was curious what this was. So if you turn this to the left, uh, which is counterclockwise, it, it's it's on number one, so it's the fully, that's the first wave. So that'll always get you back to the to the first wave if you just turn this counterclockwise, even if you don't have the scope. Number two is this. It's um, you know, it looks like a type of square wave, but I don't know what it is exactly. But number three is that. Number four is that. Number five is this. Number six. Now this is interesting because this looks. This is the dampened sinusoidal wave. That's what it looks like. And these are the one of the one. This is the wave you want to use if you're using over um, a megahertz. Say, for instance, you're using the world right frequency in pad type over a megahertz, and maybe you want to use this generator without your computer. Um, someplace else or something and you just want to use a little generator as a pad type device um, now it would be better to use the program because you can include uh, the Hoyland um, 11th harmonic on a second output but still this is interesting because now I understand how to get to the, arbi the uh, one wave in here in the arbitrary function that is actually useful by just using the standalone generator. It's actually the sixth wave. So seven is this, eight is this. Actually, maybe I need to adjust this a little bit. Right like that. And uh, it's nine, there's 10. So, uh, you know, it's like, you just turn it all the way back to the left, it's, that's number one. So you just go one click two clicks, well, in other words, that's one, that's the second wave, that's the third wave, that's the fourth wave, that's the fifth wave, that's that's the sixth wave. And that is interesting because, you know, if you want to use this in manual mode without grabbing a computer or anything like that, and this wave is actually important with um, the Royal Rife um, higher up frequencies, the higher up frequencies. Say, so say you want to use this as a pad type device for um, one of the things Royal Rife lists. Now they do know some of his frequencies, a few of them anyway. Um, so you can actually just grab this little generator and um, most of his frequencies are over a megahertz so you want to use this dampened sinal wave. That's exactly what it looks like so that's some pretty good information. So again, to go all you don't see any kind of display on here where it's telling you what number um, you know this is on with the arbitrary waves. It doesn't say anything. But if you turn this all the way to the left, see without me even looking at the scope, and I go one click, two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, five clicks. That's the that's the sixth wave 
that's your dampened sinal wave without even me looking at the scope. So I figured I'd just post this because um, I was always curious what arbitrary waves this thing was making um, without the spooky software. Um, now it's definitely better to use the spooky software like I said but sometimes you just might want to grab this little generator and uh, that's useful that's useful so if you're using the Royal Wright frequencies that are over a megahertz that's the wave you actually want to use the dampened sinal wave now you're not going to feel anything that's just how it is when it's over a megahertz with a dampened sinal wave it's you're not going to feel anything but it is penetrating the skin no doubt about it so should be doing its thing and yeah I do have the um, little manual for this actually I found out I spent many hours trying to find a manual for this thing and um, it's difficult to find I'm glad I did because it did not come with a manual <laughs> and um, this is the um, that's what it is so you know, if somebody needs a manual, I could probably post it someplace uh, for download because it seems to be very difficult to find a manual for this particular scope. It's been out of production for a while, but it's a decent old workhorse, so it uh, gives you a good idea of what's going on. I'd rather go with the old school stuff myself. I'm not familiar with scopes. I'm not an expert on scopes, but I'm just a person that pretty much likes old school better than new school.